Hi again, YouTubers. Here I'm uh, charging up for the first time a lead, lead oxide rechargeable cell. In an earlier video I uploaded today, I showed you how I prepare uh, circular lead electrodes. I've got a stack of three or four on each side. I'm using a 12 volt battery to charge it up for the first time. And I did a, in the beginning it was zero, zero potential, freshly prepared lead. You can see I have a little bit of screen on the top of each of these just to hook up the alligator clips. And uh, this will charge for a few hours for the first time. I bring it up to 25, 40 volts, open voltage, short circuit it, and do that a couple times to boost it. And uh, after now, about an hour and a half, I'm up to about, uh, I'm over one volt. And I'm supplying small current at a time. Now, what I have in there is an electrolyte bath. My focus is on studying the chemistry of various electrolytes for these lead batteries, rechargeable batteries. And remember, this is still a significant part of the battery industry in the 21st century. So I have in there uh, magnesium sulfate, alum, a trace amount of cobalt 2 sulfate, a trace amount of nicotinic acid and uh, aluminum chloride hydrate and I am in going to investigate th this uh, novel composition because I want to see if it prevents buildup of lead sulfate white cake white film on the electrodes which causes several problems and it can even require more effort uh, perhaps uh, at the recycling centers if they use a bath like this and it keeps the white sulfate off that's good but it might even be used to remove lead sulfate from the surface of the lead and I'm going to be investigating some other uh, electrolytes gels um, conducting electrolytes but anyway, in an earlier film I showed you how I prepared the uh, lead uh, discs by pouring molten lead right into aluminum pans, circular pans, and uh, they come out pretty good. If you didn't see that video, here's a typical example. Silicon oil is rubbed into the pan as a mold uh, agent. and. Uh, after cooling literally for a minute or two on the bench top, you turn it upside down it falls right out. There's your thickness and you can get lead prepared very nicely this way if you're interested in a pile setup. I'm going to be working on that too uh, with insulators in between but right now I got a stack and that's where I'm at with this research. I'll keep you posted lead battery preparation. Bye for now guys.